The Outdoor Adventure Education Program is one of the greatest classes you can offer your students at any secondary school across Texas or across the country. It's aligned to national standards. It's been reviewed and meets all the benchmarks for outdoor skills. It's also set where you can have teacher training at any state and is standardized using the Department of Natural Resources in those states. Here in Texas, we utilize Texas Parks and Wildlife. Texas Parks and Wildlife can train our teachers in Brownsville all the way to Lubbock, clear over to Texarkana, and it's all the same. Today you will see the successes of this program in three different schools. You will see it work in a school with primarily minority students. Then we go to a rural environment and you'll see it in a school with only 130 kids. And finally, a suburban school with over 5,000 students. This program is successful in all three of those different venues. Outdoor Adventures is new to us. We started last year. Uh, we had a class that was small in the beginning, continued to grow. This year it's expanded and doubled. Uh, we have two sections, two classes. Uh, Corey is our teacher. He is new to public education. We drafted him from the college level and uh, he's been a wonderful addition to our campus. His creativity in using this curriculum is just wonderful. It's not your daddy's PE class. It is a great new program for our kids. They're enthusiastic, they're participating, and they're not sitting on the edges watching. Uh, this class is good for Cedar Hill High School because of uh, our demographics and because of the kids that are here at Cedar Hill. Uh, literally, uh, they're inner city kids that are in a suburban type uh, community. Uh, even though it's a suburban type community, they don't get opportunity to go fishing, hunting, and do some of the outdoors because they still have the inner city mindset. Uh, so therefore, I think it's been a great opportunity for these kids to uh, experience and tap into something that you know normally or traditionally that they, they don't ever really do. They hear about it, but they've never really done it. Uh, to me, it's heaven sent because the, the standardized PE classes of old, it, it's just, it is that, but this outdoor, uh, adventures class, it, it gets these kids outside, it gets them moving, it gets them doing things that they never thought they would ever do. And uh, to me, that's exciting. With the budget restraints that we have in Texas now in public education, there is no way that we would be able to purchase the archery equipment, the fishing equipment, and all of the equipment, the outdoor activity equipment that are necessary for this course. Without the foundation's help and without their yearly grants, it would be basically impossible to offer our kids this opportunity, and it's an opportunity that they don't need to miss. The Outdoor Adventure Program has impacted Electra and the students in Electra tremendously. It's given um, an opportunity for students to come and learn activities that they've never done before in their life, like casting and, and archery, and, it, and it's been a huge success. Here in Electra, we have 130 students, and of all the electives, this class is the most popular. Even though we're a small town in a rural community, a lot of these kids don't have the opportunity to go fishing or to practice archery. And so the Outdoor Adventure Program has given those students the opportunity to do those activities. One of those key elements for outdoor education is having the right person to teach the outdoor education curriculum. And once you have that right person in the outdoor education curriculum that's really enthusiastic, really energetic, and has a passion for this outdoor activities, everything falls into place. Over three years span, I've certified almost 85 students in either hunter education and boaters education. So they're getting a taste of all these outdoor adventures that they can take from what they learned in school and then go and apply them to their home life. One of the neat things that the Outdoor Adventures has uh, provided our students here at Electra High School is the opportunity 
to create a rapport with other family members. Uh, for example, uh, fathers that like to hunt and fish, uh, Outdoor Adventures has given those students the basic foundations via their curriculum to engage into a relationship with their parents and go hunting or fishing and they have that common bond and rapport that they can continue to build with their family members. I wish everybody had the opportunity to provide this class because it gets those students who aren't a part of anything, they're not a part of athletics or they're not a part of band, and it gives them a place, an opportunity where they can come and they can be a part of these activities and they can feel as a whole and sometimes they even do those activities better than those athletic students. Here at Allen High School, this is our first year to have the Outdoor Adventures program. We're really excited about it. Our first semester, we have over 280 kids in our program. All right, today we are going to present our Habitat Hangout. This program has really changed uh, the atmosphere of our school. A lot of our students aren't involved in a lot of different activities here at school, so the Outdoor Adventures program has enabled us to start an archery team. Our students come before and after school to practice, and this gives them an opportunity and a sense of belonging uh, for uh, their self-esteem. I think Outdoor Adventures class here at Allen High School is very important to our student body in terms of the choice factor giving the student an opportunity to get plugged in and where they have an area to fit in with other students, where they can connect with one another on a common ground. And in return, those skills and being plugged in with this organization allows them to build on their soft skills, such as interpersonal skills, communication, being able to work through problems, which will eventually help them in adulthood uh, to become successful citizens. When we started the Outdoor Adventure program, this building was just an old abandoned building. And with the thought of this program coming in, we needed somewhere um, to house our, our students, for, have the archery arena, and this building was a great location. And now we've taken this building over, the district has come in, done some remodeling for us, and this is dedicated just for the Outdoor Adventure program, and we're so excited about it. The Dallas Ecological Foundation has been a big, tremendous help for our program here. They have basically gotten us off the floor and, get, and got us going. Um, we're very excited. They've given us uh, a lot of support in our teacher training. They've helped us with grants to get a lot of our supplies along with Cabela's. We're very excited and look forward to continued support. If this program interests you or you know of a school that needs this program to reach their students, you can contact the Dallas Ecological Foundation and we'll help you get started.